Good morning, everybody. Here's our first view of the day. We've got a reprieve from the rain. Everything's still wet. Rocks and stuff. I just come up through that. It's been a rock path there for like that for about two miles coming straight up this mountain. But we're almost to the top here. But I wanted to capture this view. It is just gorgeous and the sun's starting to shine. So having a blessed day today. Um, Saddleback Mountain. I'm not quite at the summit, but there's a fog coming across, so I'm going to go ahead and do this now so you can see. It's beautiful. We're in an alpine zone, so we're above the tree line. Had views over there just a minute ago, but a fog cloud rolling in. But it is nice. Had a slept in my hammock last night at the Paz Shelter. Man, it was full. They had a group of kids there from a camp. They're doing a, I think they're doing the Saddlebacks and a couple of these other mountains across through here, but their tents had malfunctioned, a couple of them. And um, they were, they had to sleep in the shelters, so they had packed the shelter out. So anyway, um, they was doing the best they could. Um, slept in the hammock and rained all night. Um, got some good sleep. Um, that rain on that Cuban fiber tarp is just like about like rain on a tin roof. So got some really good sleep. I got up and out of camp by about 6.30. Yesterday was hard. There's a lot of mud tromping and um, stream hopping and root hopping. Kind of this morning, there's a lot of stream jumping and root hopping and rock hopping. So it is what it is. But I'm going to try to get the Spalden Mountain Shelter today and then go in and resupply and stratton or useless whatever you want to call it main tomorrow. After all that climbing, I'm gonna get a picture with this thing. It's a uh, summit of Saddleback Mountain. Now we're gonna go across Saddleback Junior. The horn. Well, finally made it over to Saddleback Junior here fogged in I guess we're gonna go off into the abyss now I think the trail goes that way I just had to climb the side of this falls sun's out right now it goes all the way down through there to a gushing river Here's a plaque. It's in honor of the men of the Civilian Conservation Corps who from 35 to 39 contributed greatly to the completion of the Appalachian Trail in Maine and who on August 4th, 1937, near this spot, completed the final link of the entire 2,054 mile trail dedicated August 14th, 1987 by the volunteers of the Appalachian Trail Club. Pretty neat. We're knocking on 2,000 miles, I know that. Um, 
had a pretty good night last night some thunderstorms rolled through um got out early this morning about 4 30. i'm gonna go into town resupply and i think get a bath and do some laundry and i've got a couple blisters on my heels from where we've been walking in water and wet shoes for the past week and a half i don't think my feet has dried out since we come out of the whites so i'm gonna do some foot care and um get ready to tackle the next section through here but but slept very well last night um got in the shelter probably about six o'clock something like that those 16 miles that was some hard miles going through that i know i was worn out um and just ready to set down at the end of the day I'm going to cross the Carabasset River today. And um, after that, I think we got another hill to climb or mountain. And then we're going to go into Eustace or Stratton and stay at the Roadhouse Hostel. So, but, sun's coming up supposed to get cloudy and have thunderstorms today and some rain that's another reason why i got up and was going to get on out i was trying to see if i could beat as much as the rain as i could which of course by now i'm used to it we've been walking in it you know every day for the past week week and a half so just hauling along I love the sky color. Camera just don't do it justice. Two thousand miles. Wow, now that's hard to believe. Come all the way from Georgia to here. Two thousand miles. Wow. The Cabasset Valley. Going down this ridge and then we'll go over to Crocker's. Well, here's the climbing South Crocker coming up out of here. Pretty view. Um, still got to climb up through there. It's pretty steep, so just taking our time. I'll tell you what, if you ever just loafing through Maine and you decide, well, I'm gonna do 4,000 footer a day or 4,000 footers, whatever. And you see the little road there it says to the Crockers. Well, and you're wondering, well, wonder how steep that is. Well, let me go ahead and tell you. I feel like I've been run through a washing machine. It's a steep climb on both sides. I'm on um, South Crocker now, and Lord have mercy. Now them two, they'll whip you. They'll whip you. They'll give you a daily dose right there. So, 
I ain't saying that it can't be done, but them's mountain steep. But I'm just about, I, think, I don't think the summit has a view. So if it does, I'll show up, but I'm just about up here. And then I'm gonna go down to the parking lot. And I think we're gonna go to the hostel. Well, see, man, I feel like I've jumped in the river with my clothes on. Here's North Crocker Mountain, 4168. Catch my breath. And then let's go on down to the parking lot. <laughs> 